Nearly 50,000 Chromebooks and countless hours coming together today with the official launch of distance learning for the San Diego Unified School District. Superintendent Cindy Martin joins us now here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. What have you and the district and the teachers been learning here the past few weeks in this trial run up today? I mean, have there been any tweaks that have been been made? Well, the reason why we had the three weeks off launch was to make sure that we were able to connect with all of our students, distribute the Chromebooks. We distributed as of Friday, the end of the three week launch. We distributed over 50,000 Chromebook computers, made sure our kids had the internet access that they needed. And then our teachers participated in 13,000 hours over 500 professional development sessions to make sure they had what they were needed to switch to this online remote learning environment. And so here we are ready to start today and really proud of our students. We know that they're able to do this and the whole message to the city is we got your back and we wanna make sure we're supporting our parents because we know this has been tough and it's a yeah. big, big, big challenge, but we're ready to start today. Yeah, and speaking of that, what has the feedback been from parents um, you touched on it, a lot of them feeling like they're picking up a lot of the academic load, you know, a bit daunting for many of them. I've seen some social media responses feeling like it's a second job for some of them. Uh, what your thoughts on, on, on reaction from parents? You know, we always say a parent is a child's first teacher, but the teachers are here to support our parents during this time and to make sure that we're giving them the customized, individualized support. One thing that we've known from the very beginning of this is that every family is different. Every family situation is very different. The circumstances they're in right now are different than they were even before this started. We've always had customized individualized support, but that's more important now than necessary. And, and our educators know that every family situation might be different. So we're putting together a day, a week, a month. What does that need to look like? for your individual family. And the schedules that you come up with, what will work for you, might be different for your next door neighbor. And we wanna make sure that we're able to customize that for you and have a lot of grace and empathy. We're telling our parents, be gentle with yourself, mm -hmm. be patient with yourself. We've got your back. The teachers are ready to work with you and to make this work because we want this school year to count for our students. For parents that are struggling, they just can't uh, get some things figured out. It, it, there are resources, there, there are ways they can get help, right, Cindy? Absolutely, our principals and our teachers and our counselors, everybody is available. It's hard when it's not the brick and mortar and you can't go physically to the school to see them, mm -hmm. but we want our families to know, connect with your teacher. Say, hey, surrender, white flag, I need help here. Can you <laughs> right. help me customize this a little bit better? What schedules will work best for your family and your situation? And our principals are on the other side of that call and our counselors and our teachers are all ready to work with you and your family. Well, let's get back to the connectivity. Uh, what is the percentage of students that are online that are able to, are there still some students that have not been able to connect with their teachers? Well, the whole reason we did the, the three weeks soft launch was to ensure we could have connectivity. And by the end of the three weeks soft launch this past Friday, we had 90% of our students were able to connect and show that they were able to log into their active directory, which is the way that we connect to all of the learning apps and the way the teachers connect with the students. We were really happy with that number. And it's also important to know that we're in the soft launch starts today of our year round school. So it's kind of technical. 90% of our schools start today. Day. Their soft launch has just ended, but 10% of our schools are year-round schools, and they're starting their soft launch today, and they have a three-week soft launch because those are year-round schools that are in school through July on a typical regular schedule, so they're getting up to speed now, and we're still connecting with some of them, but we want to make sure 100% of our students have the technology that they need and the connectivity, and the Cox Connect to Compete program has mm -hmm. been phenomenal. That's for our qualifying families and students that they're able to have free internet all through July. What is the holdup then on the other 10% of the students? Uh, what are some of the issues they're facing? It actually might be the students that, that haven't connected might be the ones that start their soft launch today. As we look to district-wide, mm -hmm. we're talking about the schools that started today. Some of the principals I've connected with have 100% of their school ready to start today, and it's really the schools that are in their soft launch period for the next three weeks are our year-round schools. All right, Cindy, thanks so much for your time. appreciate your work. I know you're going to be doing a, a, a Facebook Live at 11 a.m., so people can tune in to learn more from you on that. So thanks again for your time here this morning. Thank you so much, and we believe in our students and our teachers we know and our do. parents. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everyone's working together to get through this, yes. aren't they? That's for yes. sure. Thanks, Cindy. <laughs>